Data from the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association shows what it's been like at hospitals in Virginia. Rising in the spring, then again in August, down in the fall before a surge now. So that is a concerning trend, and we did see a bit of a bump in hospitalizations post-Thanksgiving. It's conceivable and possible that we would see another bump post-holiday season. Julian Walker is the vice president of communications with VHHA. He says cases are rising, but thousands of beds and ventilators remain available in Virginia. A big concern, though, is making sure health care workers remain able to work. If you get to a critical point where you have too many staff in that quarantine or isolation period, then you can run into issues where it's not so much available beds, it's about having the necessary complement of staff uh, to be able to tend to all the patients occupying those beds. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, the highest number of people ever reported in the hospital today with more than 3,000. While vaccinations are now happening, health officials in both states say we need to be careful. We understand that people are tired. Everybody has pandemic fatigue. Everybody wants this to be over. But, you know, the more we all practice personal responsibility, the sooner we can get through this. And in states like California, the situation is becoming more dire. The fear is hospitals will soon become overwhelmed. Health officials are hoping that won't happen here. While individual hospitals have had elevated numbers, um, you know, we've never gotten to a point where, you know, hospitals have been on the brink of being, as a statewide system, have been on the brink of being overwhelmed as some other states have experienced. And so that's good news. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.